This is the story of Let No Man Put Asunder, a stranger side quest in Red Dead Redemption. Easy. On your way to Coots Chapel, John encounters a woman named Alma Horlick sitting on the ruins of a house. Upon seeing John, she beckons out to you and says, Always late, that man. Everything all right, madam? It's Miss. Oh. Oh, let me look at you. My gentleman caller. You remind me of my Peter. Have you seen him? I don't think so. Where is that man? We'll be late for the ceremony. He must still be at the saloon in Armadillo, talking to the musicians. He's such a fine man. Must be making things right for me, as usual. Well, I gotta get going, ma'am. I'm sure your Peter will be just fine. Wait, I beg you. Would you possibly go fetch him for me? This was meant to be my perfect day. Please, sir. Something must have happened. I can't bear it. So you want me to go find your Peter so you can have a perfect day? Yes, please. I'll see what I can do. Oh. Amal Horlick has tasked us with finding the musician in the Armadillo Saloon about Peter's whereabouts on her perfect day. Alma herself is a bit of a mess. I mean, I know a wedding is a woman's perfect day, but she's a little bit of a desperate bridezilla. Sure, on one hand, I feel bad for her. Hopefully, her groom-to-be is safe and sound. The other hand, we've got things to do. We've got our own family to save. Why can't she just go to the Armadillo Saloon? I guess it is quite a trek in your wedding dress. So... We acquiesce and head to the Armadillo Saloon. Uh -oh. Heading inside, we find a man named Nathan Harling looking incredibly comfortable. Just so you know, I don't take requests, mister. I'm looking for a man. Name's Peter. Fellow's meant to get married today. Seen him around? Who? Peter, is what she said. <laughs> you ain't after no Pete Turner, are you? For all I know, where can I find him? Well, my memory escapes me when not properly stimulated. Then let's see if we can refresh it. Five dollars will do. Or you could run a little errand for me. What do you need done? It's my wife. She packed her things this morning and left me. The dumb wench is still at the freight station waiting for the stagecoach. If you could... Convince her to take me back. Her name's Rose. I guess I'll go have a talk with her. Now you'll need more than talk with that bitch. So, the first thing you can do is just pay Nathan, not get in his affairs and give him five dollars and he will now. divulge the information to be this way about. Another option is to approach Rose and find out why she has left Nathan and persuade her to come back to him. Speaking to Rose, she says, Excuse me, miss? Er, Rose? If that useless, whore-mongering bastard sent you, get lost! Miss, please, if only... You know what? Tell that bastard I ain't going back. Not this time. Not even at gunpoint. Sign an oath, miss. For better or worse, the way I see it, you should give him one last chance. Stop bothering me, you dumb cowpoke, or I'll call the marshal. Now, you can't really blame Rose for leaving her husband due to the fact that he's been sleeping with other women, whores, if you will. You give her bonus points for having the dignity to up and leave him. It's very hard in the West for somebody to become divorced in that day and age. However, in the game, unless you're willing to fork the money out, the only options are hog tying her, which again is going to give you a bad reputation, or by taking her by force. So the first option is hog tying her and dumping her unceremoniously. You'll lose a hundred honor, but you will progress the mission. The other way is to actually take Rose back by gunpoint and she'll divulge a little more information on her relationship with her husband when you take her back. Well, you sure ain't no gentleman, are you? 
Sure, I'll go back to him, but trust me, same as God, I'll kill him when he's asleep. That's your business, madam, and I wish you luck with it. Too yellow to come and get me himself, is he? I'll poison that little maggot. What did he do? I ever meet John Marston? If I even see you look at a whore again! Oh, thank you, my friend. Well, you sure know how to talk to women. You better do some talking now. Truth is, Pete Turner ain't been an armadillo for near on 20 years now. Kind of a queer fella and all. Wasn't here every night. Sure as the moon in the sky. What happened to him? Well, <laughs> what happens to all of us? I reckon you'll find him at Odd Fellas Rest. Yeah, that's where he'd be, I guess. So we head towards Oddfellow Rest, which is west of Armadillo. Which seems to be a fitting place. Peter Turner was described by Nathan as a weird guy. Kind of odd. So it's funny that Oddfellow Rest it would be the place where we will find him. Maybe resting? Who knows? So Oddfellow Rest turns out to be a cemetery. And we start to inspect the graves to find the whereabouts of Peter. Maybe this will lead to his whereabouts. Reading the graves will at least give us a clue. Some of these graves have brilliantly written quotes on the tombstones. My favourites being Lambert Henning. He stepped onto the track to see if the train was coming. It was. Theo Regis, age 26 years. He always picked the wrong fight. Hart Cummings. I guess it was more than a bad cough. Wow, that tuberculosis joke was just vicious. Here lies buried Dorothy Hewitt. If you are reading this, I must be dead. So they clearly had a good time. Hoover Cowan. Here lies my third husband. Fourth time lucky. Here lies, I think it says Brian Valkyris. Second fastest drawer in the West. They definitely got some zingers on these tombstones. Here lies Charlotte Eves. She lived each day as if it were her last. Especially this one. So finally, looking through the tombstones, we do see Peter Turner betrothed to Miss Alma Horlick, killed by a blow to the head on the 15th of January 1894. He will never dance with another. Well, that's true. Poor Alma Horlick never got to be the bride that she wished to be. She's lived on for 17 odd years waiting for her husband totally cracked this seems to be an ongoing tragedy for people out in the west and i assume that it must mirror real life i have heard of a, a man who is also ready to crack he's writing a lot of stories he's trying to find what's funny in the west they call him the funny man down at benedict's point that is a story for another day